Introduction to Effective Presentations How to Put the Power into PowerPoint Your story needs wow! I have a question. How can you make more money and learn English too? Here's another question. How can you make more money and present your very important story. Remember these questions. So this presentation will show you how to make a presentation to tell your story about you or something very important about you or to sell services with your company. It also has some specific examples that help you understand how to make your powerful presentation something that tells something important about you or your company. Your presentation has three parts. The most important part is the introduction because it must attract the attention of readers and listeners and keep the attention. The body is a few slides, sometimes upwards of five slides, and its purpose is to inform and persuade. And a summary restates and proves what you have said and asks people to act. So your presentation, the introduction is part one. Start your introduction with a question or a statement. The question form is something like, how can I, or how can you, followed by a question that is appropriate to your presentation. For example, a question, how can you get your house cleaned quickly and soon by someone who loves to work hard? So if you're creating a statement for your introduction. It needs to be in the form of, I propose that you, and then you finish it appropriate to your presentation content. An example of a statement, I propose that you listen to a solution to your house cleaning need. Part two, the introduction. Follow your introduction question or statement with an objective. It should be uh, simple and at most two or three lines. It should be well worded as well. So well worded means that the words are carefully chosen and not too many. People will want to listen if the words are clear. For example, I will show you that I am the best person for cleaning your house in the next three slides. I know you read. The content is the main body of the presentation and it should be at most uh, five slides. Each slide should have at most of six bullet points, preferably three to five bullet points. And the font size should be large enough so that everyone can see. 24 is usually what uh, is recommended. And it's important to pick a soothing, peaceful background and color so that people are not distracted. If you want color, then that's when you add images. And you add uh, one or two images, uh, not for every slide, but maybe um, for every other slide. So draft your content pages and then have your instructor or another student review the words and grammar for correctness. Remember, words are very powerful, so don't use too many and use them. So that was about the written text and now it's time to mention the nonverbal part of the message. Nonverbal message is very important for both face-to-face -face messages and online communication. Make sure to smile a lot, especially online, because everyone can tell from your voice 
that you love what you talk about when you smile. Believe in what you say. Practice your message and your confidence and belief will build. Stand up straight in a face-to-face -face message. And for online, sit up straight and smile. So remember those questions at the beginning of this presentation? This presentation has shown you how to sell your company services or tell your story well. And you will improve your English by reviewing and revising your text message. Ask your instructor to review your introduction and then try out your introduction with classmates. And also practice your presentation. And remember to ask for questions and to thank the people at the end of each. Now you can build your presentation so that you can make more money in your business, build new relationships, and tell your story with confidence so people will want to know you. The next video is an example of a presentation that sells landscaping services. And I can't wait to tell you more. Thank you.